I'm excited. This is always a great lesson for me when I bring out all the minerals that I have, all these different samples and specimens, and I put them out across my lab tables in my classroom, and I allow the students just to go up and pick out different minerals, look at different colors, textures, the mass, look at the different kinds of luster, the different kinds of shapes and habits, and just really observe and really take in all different kinds of minerals. Now, why? This is the start of geology for my kids, my curriculum, and looking at geochemistry and how the atoms and elements in chemistry join, combine, and mix to make these amazing minerals. And the kids are able to pick them up, look at them, and really you know, ID them in terms of the different characteristics that all these minerals possess. You know, all these different types, the colors, the shapes, they're amazing to have in the classroom. So when you talk about these minerals, you know, rock forming minerals or looking at different things in geochemistry, the kids, the students can always go back to looking at the physical specimen in the room and relate what they're learning in theory on the, on the board or in the Google Slides. And they can link up in theory to the real life application in terms of looking at these minerals and why a certain mineral looks different to a different mineral based on its physical and chemical characteristics. This classroom is incredible because we're able to do this and give the kids this opportunity.